Percy had been tasked with fate work for the past few days. He was getting tired of these jobs. He complained. His driver asked. Percy knew exactly what his driver was talking about, but he didn't care. He took his line of trucks to the yards. As they were approaching the yards, the trucks began a plan to pay Percy back for being rough with them. One said. The others started to giggle. Percy thought they were just being silly. As he centered the trucks under the coal loader, they began their tricks. Percy was in no mood for tricks. Then the trucks set their brakes off, and Percy stopped back. They timed it perfectly, and they set their brakes back on once Percy was under the coal loader. Percy couldn't move forward or back. A rumble came from above him. Sir Topham Hatt soon arrived. Sir Topham Hatt walked away, and Percy begrudgingly took his trucks away. He popped into the sheds later that night, very embarrassed. All the engines started to laugh. All the engines laughed at James's comment. Percy looked away and slunk to the back of the shed. The next afternoon, Percy took some supplies to a spot in the line where the workmen were replacing the rails. He was still in a bad mood and was careless with what he was doing. Just then, Henry passed by with a slow train. Then Percy started to roll forward. Percy was sulking. Percy paid no attention to his driver, but then he heard a whistle and his heart sank. Henry came puffing to the scene of the accident. He was purple in the face with laughter. Henry laughed on as the workman attached him to Percy. He laughed as he pulled Percy back onto the rails. He was still laughing as he went away to go back to his coaches. Sir Topham Hatt had some stern things to say to Percy later that night. He said secretly. Percy arrived at the docks the next day. He did his jobs with no trouble at all, but he felt bad about himself. But Salty made him feel much better about things, and his work seemed easier. He felt very pleased with himself. But a few days later, trouble came. Percy was arranging some stone trucks. After this, he had to get a line of tankers ready for James to pick up later. He was supposed to arrive at 11.30, so Percy had about an hour to get situated. But James thought he was to arrive earlier. James came backing... James came backing up towards the harbour, but neither he or Percy noticed each other until it was too late. As the dust settled, the two engines examined the mess. James was furious. The two engines kept on arguing until Sir Topham Hatt arrived. He said sternly. The two engines explained their sides of the story. With that, he wept. Edward soon arrived to take James to the works. Percy and Salty spent the rest of the morning cleaning up the mess. Later that evening, Percy decided to tell his problems to Salty. Two days later, Sir Topham Hatt came to inspect the harbour. Percy decided to tell him how he felt. Sir Topham Hatt said warmly, Percy was very pleased and did the rest of his work without any problems. The next day it was arranged for he and Thomas to switch jobs for the day. Percy had never felt so glad to pull passengers in his life, and later that night he got to do his favourite job, pulling the mail train. He said happily. Percy and his crew laughed, and nothing bad ended up happening to them, or anyone on Sodor.